Thomas, get that other foot around. Get that other foot around. The Army makes training, improving tactics, and designing better equipment a top priority in an effort to reduce the risk of injury to soldiers. But no matter how much we train, revise our tactics, or develop safer equipment, accidents do happen, and casualties may be an inevitable part of warfare. Ironically, for one soldier, getting wounded in combat may actually have saved his life. I see uh, my, my injury downrange as a, a gift from God, you know, a blessing in disguise. After being wounded during an ambush in Afghanistan, Specialist Thomas Bryant was medevac to an army treatment facility where he was diagnosed with cancer. Yeah, I mean, little did I know at the time that I would get cancer. So if I would, and I was stage two when they found it. So if I had not gotten wounded down range, it would have been a matter of time. His cancer is now in remission after receiving aggressive chemotherapy. Bryant's currently assigned to the Vicenza Warrior Transition Unit, or WTU, where his healing process continues with the focus on healing the injuries he sustained in Afghanistan. At first, I was avoiding the WTU the best I could because uh, I didn't want to leave my unit. And now I, I really like the WTU. Soldiers can concentrate on healing. You know, that's their mission to heal. So they, WTU grants them access to any you know, medical facilities, make sure they get their appointments on time make sure there's absolutely no problems and everything is taken care of. While the primary mission of WTU soldiers is healing, emphasis is put on keeping them productive and giving them a chance to learn new skills. When they're not getting their therapy or going through the process, uh, we have opened up a number of different job opportunities for them on the installation working from the garrison. Part of the healing process is to, is to heal the spirit. And uh, you can only do that by getting away from uh, from the uh, medical aspect of your recovery. I actually asked if I can come here back to my battalion. We worked with my NCOIC here in 1st Battalion, and uh, he said, no problem, send him over here. So I, I just do odd jobs around, getting anything done, working with the pool a little bit, putting work orders. Me, I'm trying to get back, back, get back in the game, get back with my old company. They won't let me back down range for another two years because of the chemotherapy, but uh, I'll make next appointment. <laughs> With the help and support of the Warrior Transition Unit, Bryant's goal of rejoining his company may be within his reach. That's right on. Robert Sikula, Vicenza, Italy.